Hi, welcome to Usborne Books with Laura, and I just wanted to make a quick video showing you the difference between an Usborne published book and a book published by Scholastic. As you can see, these are the same book. However, there is a clear difference between books that are published through Usborne and books that are published by Scholastic. And I just wanted to do a quick disclaimer here and say that I do love Scholastic books. I grew up on them. So um, this video is in no way made to shame or hate on Scholastic. But there are clear differences between the quality of the books um, and I just wanted to show you. So first of all, you know that a book is published by Usborne when it says our name on it and it also has our fabulous little rainbow hot air balloon and Scholastic obviously has the Schol the red Scholastic bar on the bottom. Even though they still have the Usborne balloon, it's still an Usborne book, but it was published by Scholastic. So first of all, just um, a clear difference here is that this is paperback and this is hardcover. One of the other things that I've noticed about these books is their spines. Now, if you put this one on your bookshelf, you're gonna be able to tell where your Under the Sea book is. It has the title on the side, the author. Um, if you put this in your bookshelf, it could get lost amongst the books and you, you might not ever see it again. It'll get lost amongst your hundreds of books, right? So let's take a look at the inside. Um, on the inside, they are pretty similar. Um, basically identical. Um, I did get this one used and it is from, it says this edition is available for distribution only through the school market. So I think this was from a book fair. So I do not know um, how much it is, but we can talk about the prices later. So let's just kind of take a look at the inside of the books. As you can see, they are the same. Um, the only clear difference that you can really see is that these pictures are brighter um, and the text is darker. You can tell that this one is bolder and this one's not so bold. Not that big a deal, but um, it, is a, it is a clear difference that you can see. Another thing that I notice as I turn these pages is that these pages are much thinner than this one. You see how, I mean, it's, it, again, it's not that huge of a difference, but in terms of being able to handle a lot of uh, rereading, I feel like the Usborne books will handle that constant page turning better than the Scholastic books. So this is another thing that I wanted to point out really quick. So let's take a look at the binding. So here we have the middle of the book and look what is holding the book together. Just two staples. That's all that's holding the book together. Now, if you have kids who constantly reread books, if you have um, these books in your classroom, what do you know usually happens? The pages start to come off from the staples, right? So let's look at an Usborne book and look at how these ones are bound. Take a look at that. These books are threaded. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six threads holding the books together. And then they also reinforce it right here as well. So you have thick, thick, threads holding it together as opposed to just two little staples and again the fact that this is hardcover definitely means that it's going to hold together longer. So again I got this book used and it is from a book fair so I do not know how much it was. This book is $4.99 as well as all of our other Usborne beginner books. I can't imagine this one would have been more than $5 so $5 or less for uh, the Scholastic Under the Sea book as well. Another thing that we have that Scholastic does not offer is let's say this Under the Sea book becomes your child's favorite book and they reread it constantly and then they end up messing it up. Or let's say it's left on the table and you spill your coffee all over it and the book is ruined. So what happens to it? If it's a Scholastic book, it just gets thrown in the trash. 
if it is an Usborne book, if you buy any Usborne book through a consultant, Usborne offers a 50% off replacement. So you will be able to just spend a couple of dollars to repurchase your book as opposed to throwing it in the trash or paying full price to replace it. So that is another, um, another positive thing about Usborne books. Um, okay, so if you have any questions, you can let your consultant know or comment below. But that is one of the clear differences between a Scholastic published book and an Usborne book.